<laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. You might remember the lithium ion phosphate battery from XRH, 300 amp hour, 12 volt. Up there is the video. This time we'll do a high temp cutoff test because I was told by the manufacturer and also some viewers, the BMS might have, you know, just protection without having a probe exposed. So we'll want to test this, want to heat up the BMS and see if there's actually something like a high temp cutoff. So let's get started with the video. I don't have to introduce this battery again, if you are interested in a 300 amp hour battery. By the way, this battery is pretty heavy. There we are. Currently it says it's at 12.9 volts, regarding when I read this one. So here we are. I wanna get to this side. And I wanna get this one exposed. I wanna heat this heatsink up and see if we can do anything with heating this one up. So it means I'll connect my charger and then we'll start the test. All right, back here, even as player, you can see we're charging using a heat gun and I'm using a temperature probe as well. So right now we have 86 degree here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 86 degree here and I'm heating it up now. And I try to do that gradually and everywhere. Hitting around 100 Fahrenheit, 50, looks like, heatsink is getting warm, So the wires are at around 90. The heat sink is around 40. It's declining again. It's spreading the heat, it's doing what it's supposed to do, but oh, we can see. I didn't even see that. There we go. Nice. Okay, so it does have a high temp cutoff, but I don't know when. I can see the wires up here, the balance leads are dropping to 72. No, I'm switched to Celsius, by the way, because the probe is lower around 60 to 70 degree Celsius usually. Let's see. Stressing this a lot. Let's see if it's coming back. Or if or if we made damage to it already. So the board itself is dropping below 70. It's at 66, 68 right now. Oh, I just heard it clicking. Oh, wow, there it is back. All right, look at this. That's new to me. Of course, it might have some kind of temperature in the BMS built in, but you never know if it works. So this is great, and I can add this to the test. Still, temperature control is not right, rightly advertised on the website, so keep that in mind. It does have a high temp cutoff, which is great to see, and I have to incorporate going forward in all the tests. So I just wanted to make sure that you see this with me, you test it together, and now it's back up charging, so that's pretty good. Thumb up. If you have any questions regarding the XRH new, new energy battery, let me know in the comment section below. Link uh, is there as well. It should be in stock starting August 15th, as much as I was told, so pretty soon. Should be able to buy it on Amazon, but also on their website. And hopefully I can see the price then as well, because I don't know it yet. Thanks for watching. Cheers.